is a huge fireplace, but it's behind scaffolding. It's just we go into the room and then we go back and then it's the room to take pictures with flash. This is where we go now. It's inside, but it's very flat. Here. Uh, we don't have any step. And, and why do we come here? It's uh, to... Open. So in front of us, as soon as we go into the room, it's when it was open. But if you look on the right, as we are in the room, it's when it was closed. Because quite recently, they cut into two the wood. So nowadays, we can have a look at both sides. But this painting was above the altar of the chapel. And most of the time it was closed. Sick people from their bed, what they could see, it's what we can see on the right. On the salon on the right corner. And between them, two saints. On the left, Saint Sebastian. And on the right, Saint Anthony. They are the two saint patrons of the hospital. But for the weekend, or when somebody was saying, we open this panel and people could see the last judgment. We have the Christ. Here we have the archangel who is weighing the souls. Mm -hmm. Here it's heavier because it's the side on the left where people go to heaven. Mm -hmm. But on the right, you see it's heavier because we are on the side where people go to hell. Mm -hmm. So this painting is attributed to one man, Roger van der Weyden. His real name was Roger de la Pasture. Maybe it was less fashionable than Van Pachtel. Represent people who go to heaven. Usually, yeah, with yeah, the rip exactly. When you represent the last judgment, people who go to heaven, to the, to, to, to hell. hell. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> you have the devil. Here we can't see any devil. It's just the human being by themselves. You see, they are linked to each other by the hair, by the skin. It's. The, the meaning is, if you go to hell, it's your own fault. This is the meaning. Mm -hmm. And the tapestries that were on the wall inside the hospital. There's some more of the tapestries. This is just outside of the uh, Hotel Du. And this was a square. And now we're going to go wine tasting. Good Burgundy. There's the gutter in the middle of the street. Cream and bread. Look at the size of those Pano chocolate. Kids are looking at all the chocolate here. Well, it's more than chocolate. It's a lot of nougat and chocolate. Oh, yeah. It's a typical street of the Middle Ages. Charcuterie. It's all the meat. Boulangerie. And they've got some candy too. They're getting ready for Easter. Stu's interested in what's in there. Oh, they even ship worldwide. These are all champagnes. From champagne. Okay, here's all the local guys. Tasting. We are going down in the basement. There's some moutard. We 
were down in the cellar to taste wine. Jean over here. Parking well. lot here has the city walls that are so Bonne is a, years old. It's really unique, really, really unique. The corruption of Belen. And Belen is the name of a goddess as well during the antiquity. And this goddess was very important for a Celtic tribe who was here more than 2,000 years ago before the Romans. On the left, Shalom if we keep looking on the left, we and can see houses built at the feet of the, the glass factory. Pyramid this is what we in call the entrance court of the Louvre in Paris. Uh, it means that the houses... Those are free-range chickens. Here's an old stone building, but they've put skylights in it. And a fairly new roof, I do believe. Not on that one, though. Here's one guy that's ready for the flood.